Hello friends, this video on nutrition in plants part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 5. Fill in the blanks. Green plants are called dash since they synthesize their own food. Own food self-dependent autotrophs. The food synthesized by the plants is stored as so the food that is prepared is in the form of glucose but then glucose gets converted into starch which is also a carbohydrate and it is stored in the form of starch. In photosynthesis solar energy is captured by the pigment called chlorophyll and due to the presence of this pigment the leaves are green in color. During photosynthesis plants take in carbon dioxide and give out oxygen. Question number 6. Name the following. A parasitic plant with yellow, slender and tubular stem. You remember Kuskuta? So there you saw that they do not have a very thick stem, very thin, almost hair-like stems. And they are yellow in color due to lack of chlorophyll. A plant that has both autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Think of a plant which can prepare its own food but still it depends on others for its food. So one such example is the insectivorous plants. So maybe you can think of the pitcher plant. So this pitcher plant, they are green in color, they contain chlorophyll so they can prepare their own food but still they eat insects so that means they are heterotrophic also. The pores through which leaves exchange gases. So what are those pores called? They are stomata. Question number 7. Take the correct answer. Amar bale is an example of autotroph, parasite, saprotroph, host. So Amar bale is basically a parasite. So it lives on other plants and it derives nutrition from other plant. The plant which traps and feeds on insects is Cuscuta, China Rose, Pitcher Plant and Rose. Of course it's Pitcher Plant because it has the leaves which are modified into the pitcher like structures and as soon as the insects come near it, they are all trapped inside the pitcher. Question number 8. Match the columns 1 and 2. So here you have column 1 and column 2. Chlorophyll. So where is chlorophyll present? It is present in the leaf of plant. Nitrogen. So whenever we talk of nitrogen, it is a macronutrient for the plants. So they need nitrogen. So how do they get nitrogen? From the soil. And who fixes the nitrogen in the soil? The nitrogen fixing bacteria. So they will match with bacteria. Amarbel. Amarbel is a parasitic plant because it depends on other plants for its food. So it is a parasite. Animals. Animals are all heterotrophs because they all depend directly or indirectly on plants for their food. Insects. Insects are prey for pitcher plant which are insectivorous plants. Question number 9. Mark true and false for each of these statements. Carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis. Well, this is absolutely false because during photosynthesis, what is released? Oxygen is released and not carbon dioxide. In fact, carbon dioxide is utilized during photosynthesis. Plants which synthesize their food themselves are called saprotrophs. Again, absolutely incorrect. Such plants are called autotrophs. Auto means self. So they are self-dependent. The product of photosynthesis is not a protein. Yes, that's correct because what is the product of photosynthesis? It is not a protein, rather it is a carbohydrate. Solar energy is converted into chemical energy during photosynthesis. Yes, that's true. So solar energy is trapped by chlorophyll and then it is converted into chemical energy and this chemical energy then helps in the uh, formation of carbohydrate from carbon dioxide and water. Question number 10. Choose the correct option from the following. Which part of the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis? Root hair, 
stomata, leaf vents and sepals. So the gaseous exchange is totally done by stomata. They are tiny openings on the tiny pores on the leaves. But choose the correct option from the following. Plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their root, stem, flowers or leaves. Of course leaves because leaves have the stomata and through stomata they take in carbon dioxide. So with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on nutrition in plants and I hope that this lesson would have helped you. Uh, so see you all in the next lesson. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.